What are peptides and should you be using them? Hi, my name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and today we're going to talk about who can benefit from the use of peptides and how to incorporate them into your skincare routine. I will also be sharing with you my favorite peptide skincare products. So peptides are kind of the uh, up and coming ingredient and it's already getting a lot of popularity, predominantly in anti-aging products and anti-aging lines. Peptides are essentially broken pieces of protein made up of various different types of amino acids of various different sizes. So there is like dipeptides or so two amino acids, tri, hexa, penta, etc. Peptides naturally play a very important role in our kind of biologic function. They're often enzymes involved in cellular metabolism, cellular communication, serving like as signals for various different metabolic functions that our body needs on a day-to-day -day basis just to stay alive and stay healthy. But also, you know, when they are strung together in various different sizes they form protein and protein is obviously very important for our muscle for our skin you know for our hair for example keratin is a type of protein collagen is a type of protein and these are very very important proteins that keep our skin and hair functional and healthy so peptides in skincare has a wide range of function as well they can help with anti-aging you know stimulate collagen they're often anti-inflammatory may help with skin barrier repair. The category of peptides in skincare are divided into four, which is carrier peptide, signal peptide, enzyme inhibiting peptide, and neurotransmitter peptides. Neurotransmitter peptides are kind of what we think about as Botox, right? We use them as injectables to help with, you know, some of the dynamic lines. You know, its role in skincare has yet to be teased out, and that's not something that I would recommend incorporating into skincare routine just because the efficacy hasn't really been shown. Enzyme inhibiting peptides are are, you know the most common one I think about are like rice peptides rice protein that have tyrosinase inhibiting properties that may help with hyperpigmentation and brightening carrier peptides you can think of it as a car it brings you from one location to the next here it's trying to more effectively deliver the you no know, active ingredient deeper into your skin and often is paired with like a signal peptide for just more effective delivery of those signal peptides signal peptides peptides is really where the money is at that's been shown to demonstrate to help with improving signs of wrinkles and fine lines. Signal peptides, as the name suggests, is basically signaling your body and here your skin to create more collagen and potentially elastin as well as other really important structure of the skin that often we lose as we age. Now, signal peptides, often you find them in the ingredients listed as like di, tri, hexa, penta, etc. peptides. And there's a lot of them out there, but only a handful has really been shown to be effective at improving fine lines and wrinkles. And the one that are effective are essentially pieces of the collagen protein but much smaller. With that they're able to get into your skin more effectively to really help to transduce that signal. And this is why guys collagen creams don't really help you make more collagen because the collagen protein is way 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 too big to even pass into your skin. But with the smaller peptides, because they're really part of the collagen protein itself, when it gets into your skin, it's basically telling your skin, hey, I've already started the build building process, let's just keep adding to it. And basically with that helps to remodel your dermal matrix, help with collagen production and elastin support. So the most well-known one goes by the name Palmitoyl Pentapeptide 4. It goes by the brand name Matrixel, which is found in various different anti-aging products, but one of the most well-known ones is in Olay Regenerous. The Olay Regenerous line, I recommend it because it has various different products tailored to different concerns. So for example, the Red Bottle Moisturizer is just a great rich moisturizer, but also you can use their Retinol 24, which also contains retinol plus peptides. And then they also have a vitamin C moisturizer that contains vitamin C and the same Matrixel peptides. Peptide. Peptides in general really play fairly well with other ingredients, and which is why you often find it formulated with other anti-aging ingredients like retinol or alpha hydroxy acids. I would say maybe the only time you may need to consider avoiding is say if you have a vitamin C serum that's very highly unstable, certain peptide products that may contain 
copper may potentially interact with your vitamin C. And so that's the only time that would say you may have to consider where you use your peptide in your routine. But otherwise, peptides are really just a nice gentle ingredient that really plays well with others. Another peptide that has a good amount of studies is a tripeptide sequence and it goes by GHK. It's a three amino acid peptide. Again, found um, pro-collagen one, again, serving as a signal to help stimulate collagen production. So we talk about collagen all the time, but we really don't um, address elastin. So elastin is another protein in our skin that gives our skin that bounciness that we lose as we get older too. And unfortunately, elastin is one of those things where it gets broken down by the sun and it kind of just sits in the skin. When it's broken down in the skin, it actually, when it builds up, it actually adds to that aging properties of the skin where you don't get a lot of that plumpness, that elasticity, that the skin that doesn't bounce back as readily. Like I said, there are very few products on the market that support elastin health and production. One of my favorite lines that I mentioned before is from Elastin. Elastin contains a trihexpeptide technology, so a blend of the tripeptide as well as hexapeptide technology that has been shown in clinical studies to really improve elastin production in the skin. It also contains a blend of antioxidant and other ingredients that basically essentially what it does is it goes into your skin and first cleans out all that dead gunk, if you will, the dead collagen breakdown, because if you can't get rid of that it will just continue to build up it cleans it out and then stimulates your body to create a new collagen and elastin and the two that i have shared that i absolutely love is their restorative complex as well as regenerating skin nectar all of elastin products they contain the same type of technology it's just the formulation is slightly unique the nectar is literally like it feels like a primer it's anhydrous it doesn't contain water so this is really best to use after a resurfacing procedure because it's not gonna burn, can help with healing. But again, you can still use this as like a serum. Restorative Complex is more of a emotion, like a lighter lotion that you can just use alone. Probably my favorite peptide line, if you were to have me pick, would be from Elastin. Now, one of the other functions of peptides in skincare is they can act as humectants. Even though collagen is too big to get into the skin, when they sit on top of the skin, it can help to draw water. And so that is one thing you can definitely consider is adding a peptide or using moisturizer containing peptides just helps to hydrate your skin, keep your skin healthy, repair the skin barrier. And with that, your, when your skin is hydrated and plump, the signs of aging like fine lines will often improve with that as well. So one of my favorite moisturizers, and I've talked about this before, is the CeraVe Renewing Line. This is a very rich moisturizer that is great at night for dry skin, for mature skin, and it contains, you know, the ceramides, but also a blood blend of the peptides that help with nourishing the skin barrier and plumping the skin. If you're not into thick moisturizers, then the one that I really like that is more of a gel cream formulation that is lightweight but still very hydrating is from Drunk Elephant, the Proteiny Peptide Cream. And this one just contains a blend of various different types of polypeptides as the name implies. And again, it's just a great lightweight moisturizer but hydrating and helps to kind of soften the skin and plump the skin. Now, if you're into serums, then the one that I think is really affordable that I like is the one from The Ordinary, the Buffet Serum. That is just a really nice hydrating serum that helps to hydrate the skin barrier and to plump. So I also mentioned earlier that peptides can be anti-inflammatory or soothing. And one of my favorite products for those with sensitive and rosacea-prone skin is from a La Roche-Posay, their Tularing Ultra Moisturizer. This is a thicker moisturizer, but it contains shea butter, La Roche Thermal Spring Water, but neurosensane, which is a dipeptide. And this has been shown in clinical studies to really help with rosacea skin, that redness and burning sensation to calm it down and to also augment the prescription medications that dermatologists prescribe for rosacea. So this is a great one that if you have rosacea or sensitive skin and just have a hard time finding moisturizers that won't burn your skin or want something that's calming and soothing, highly recommend this one. And one last product that's for the lip that I really like like, especially 
you know, that's an area that often is neglected. We don't talk about it enough, but wrinkly lips is definitely a concern that we often see. I often see patients coming in the office for and you know, one of the reasons why we do lip fillers, but one targeted lip treatment is the one from Extruvians, their targeted lip filler. And Extruvians also has an age reverse line of moisturizer as well as a treatment that's very similar to this targeted lip treatment that contains a blend of polyhydroxy acids, glucosamine, and here this also contains a patented ingredient called citrophil that has been shown to stimulate fibroblast production as well as a blend of peptides and other antioxidants. And this is just a, a nice, um, almost like a cream for your lip that you would put on at night to over time help improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So if you have more wrinkly lip and looking for something that's hydrating and plumping at the same time, this one is a great one to check out. So that's it guys. That is the roundup of my favorite and probably most commonly used peptide containing skincare ingredients. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried any of the products I've mentioned or let me know what your favorite peptide product is. You can also find me more on my social media where I always share reviews of skincare products including some of my other favorite peptide products that I may be using at the moment. I would love it if you give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.